I'm Robert from Sport International. If you have any testing and certification requirements, please contact me. Today I'm here to talk about 6 GHz of unlicensed use. There are great quantity devices using unlicensed spectrum for now. The FCC is thinking maybe it's time to open 6 GHz to solve the problem of dense unlicensed spectrum. Next generation unlicensed service will use wider bandwidth to offer high throughput applications such as AR, VR, gaming, 4K, 8K, etc. For now, we only have 580 MHz unlicensed use for 5 GHz band. But in the future, we might have additional 1.2 GHz can be used. Currently, the FCC spectrum was separated into two parts, 200 MHz and 380 MHz. There are only two 160 MHz channel bandwidths in the 5 GHz band. But after opening 6 GHz band, we will have 7 more bandwidths of 160 MHz, which means we will get higher throughput and the spectrum will be freed up to expand for more applications. How exciting is that? In order to open 6 GHz band for unlicensed use, the FCC still has concern about the unlicensed devices will do harmful interference to incumbent users. That leads one question, how to protect them? The FCC proposed one mechanism called AFC, Automated Frequency Coordination. AFC can classify devices according to the device's priority. It will help protect higher priority users while sharing the spectrum to those unlicensed devices. A lot of suggestions indicate that the FCC rules for the proposed AFC system can be and need to be simple and flexible and uh, should not require unlicensed system registration, database coordination, or aggregate interference calculation, because it is not necessary. The FCC's NPRN contemplates 1.2 GHz of additional spectrum available for unlicensed use. 350 MHz low power indoor use only. A50 MHz standard power requiring AFC, but many companies were not satisfied with this proposal, so they united to convince the FCC. There are Apple, Broadcom, Facebook, Google, Qualcomm, etc. Basically, the top enterprises you have ever heard, they are all in it. It seems like a dream team to me. As of November 5th, 2019, these companies have joined the unlicensed community. They have been working with technical experts and conducting detailed engineering analysis that demonstrate how coexistence between incumbents and the new unlicensed user will work. This power table was proposed by those corporations. At first, the FCC didn't propose LPI, but they think this wouldn't do harmful interference to outdoor fixed incumbent licensed operations due to low power transmit and the building material provide sufficient attenuation. In addition, the lowest unified channel should be limited to indoor use. In other words, this lowest channel should not be available for use by APs installed outdoor, fixed outdoor stations, or mobile hotspots operating outdoors. Except for LPI, they also proposed VLP, very low power portable device. This device can provide 2 gigabits per second throughput with microsecond latency. They believe the future 5G services require wireless broadband portable devices. The Commission can ensure Americans enjoy the benefits of these next generation wireless services by enabling a very low power portable device class. The 6 GHz band is ideal for enabling these services. The risk of harmful interference to incumbent operations from VLP devices is extremely low as they claimed. So instead of supporting this power table, they propose the following. 1. Low power indoors should be authorized throughout the entire 1.2 GHz. 2. A very low power portable class should be created to operate throughout UNIFI 7, 
and the button 100 MHz of Uni8. 3. Client device power levels should be equivalent to the associated AP. Unlicensed community proposed to FCC on November 12, 2019. New proposal for LPI with below four items do not require AFC. 1. Must use integrated antennas. This would prohibit the marketing of any low-power indoor device with antenna connectors or that is otherwise designed in a way that would permit end users to replace or modify the device antennas. 2. Must not use any type of weatherproofed enclosure. This will prohibit the use of battery-powered 6 GHz LPI radios. 3. Must cease functioning when the device is not connected to the mains power. 4. Must comply with a clear labeling requirement. The above is the FCC. Now let's talk about Europe. Europe is headed down the path to enable low-power indoor and very low-power portable radio LAN operations. But unlike the FCC, Europe is only planning to open Uni5 band. Higher power and uh, outdoor devices are expected to require AFC. The standard is written in early draft of EN3036A7. In Canada, the ISED, Innovation Science and Economic Development, doesn't have current plans of opening up 6 GHz band for unlicensed use. Here's the spectrum outlook priorities set by the ISED for the next 5 years. 6 GHz has been assigned a priority of 3. In the near future, it doesn't look like the ISED will be releasing more spectrum in the 6 GHz band for Wi-Fi use. The technologies used in this band are not going anywhere and are still heavily used in the band. Therefore, ISED has classified it as priority 3 during their outlook consultation earlier this year. This means that nothing much is going to happen in the next few years. But they did mention that they will keep monitoring what's happening in the US and in the rest of the world to see if they could work on a solution where the current technologies using the 6 GHz band would coexist with new services. This will probably require some coexistence mechanism to be put in place. So AFC may be used in Canada as well. This is the timeline of FCC, ECC, IEEE and the Wi-Fi Alliance. The FCC is expected to open spectrum between the first quarter and the second quarter this year. The ECC is expected to open spectrum in 2021. Let's see how it will go. That's a wrap. Thanks for watching. We are Sporten. We always provide the best professional efficiency and the newest information. I hope you like this video. If you like our video, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And hit the notification bell. We are looking forward to seeing you in next video.